This is a setup guide for Blink. Blink includes the items shown here, being the Blink controller, remote, and update cable. It is essential to update the firmware of both the GoPro camera and Blink controller, as the newest firmware will provide the most recent performance updates and features. It is essential that your SD card has the U3 speed rating that is required by the GoPro camera for reliable operation. Historically, the majority of our support issues were due to using an SD card that was not U3 rated. A slow SD card can affect the timing of both Blink and the GoPro camera, resulting in issues such as corrupted footage, overheating, missed triggers, and camera crashes. Even though some SD cards may be marked as U3 rated, they may not actually have the speeds indicated by the U3 symbol. Click this link to be directed to an SD card speed tester on our website to ensure your SD card has the speeds required. To program Blink schedules, you will need a smartphone or computer to connect to the Wi-Fi signal that is broadcasted by Blink. With a fully charged GoPro battery, attach Blink to the GoPro camera. The camera should turn on to read the camera's time before it is turned off. Now, there are multiple ways to power Blink. If you have an external power source and using a Hero 4 camera, it is recommended to remove the GoPro battery and power the system through Blink's USB port to enable Blink's safety reset feature. Your power supply should be rated for 2 amps when using this configuration. However, this reset feature is not available with the Hero 3 Plus cameras that require a charged GoPro battery. The power from the GoPro battery ensure that any external power supply is connected to the GoPro's USB port. This is because Blink's USB port will not charge the GoPro battery. After the camera is turned off, plug the wired remote into Blink's port 1. The remote is used to activate Blink's Wi-Fi signal to start programming the new schedules. Blink's Wi-Fi is turned on by holding down the button of the wired remote for three seconds. Blink's LED will flash cyan three times to indicate that Wi-Fi has been activated. If the LED flashes purple, this can be an indication that the GoPro has insufficient power to turn on the Wi-Fi signal. The LED will continue to flash blue every five seconds while Blink's Wi-Fi is active. The wired remote can be unplugged after activating Blink's Wi-Fi. This is because Blink's Wi-Fi signal will automatically turn off after 15 minutes to conserve power. Open the connection settings on your device to connect to Blink's wireless network. Blink's Wi-Fi name is CamDoBlink followed by an underscore and a string of characters. This string of characters corresponds to Blink's unique MAC address. The default password to connect to the network is 123456789. The first step is to click the Sync Camera Time button. This will push the correct time and date settings from your device to the GoPro camera. To program a new schedule, click on a schedule header. Click the Enable button at any time to set the schedule as active. The Enable button and Schedule header should both highlight blue to indicate that the schedule is now active. Click the days of the week you would like the schedule to be active. This schedule will repeat weekly. Set the start and end time for the weekly schedule to be active. For programming a time lapse, select the action as intervalometer and set your desired interval between camera triggers. Selecting the action as photo, each time this schedule is triggered, Blink will turn the camera on and take a single image before turning off the GoPro camera to conserve power. If you are uncertain of the interval required for your project, check out our time-lapse calculator page. This will help you easily determine your project's requirements. Continue to program any additional schedules if required. Once all your shooting schedules have been programmed, ensure to hit the Save All button. 
The next active schedule will be displayed at the top of the programming interface. Your Blink is now ready for capturing your time-lapse project.